They said, go handle the poop. And I was like, what? I'm not doing that. No, no, no. Said she flirt with her boyfriend, but him of money and bling, so she go bed with him. Catch disease. No. Let's get right into this video. If you guys new here, what's good? What's poppin'? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm running late. But yeah, let's get the cameras ready. <laughs> so y'all basically gonna get to know me on a deeper level, cause why not? Like, I really haven't done like a really like get to know me. Like, you don't know nothing about me but the videos that I post, so. So yeah, my name is Janala Sophia Lewis Sutton. I got a long name and I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of like, <sighs> a little, not embarrassed, but like my name is super long. So like people, they'll make fun of my last name or whatever. Or they'll mess up my first name, and I just hate that, you know. But then again, I wouldn't correct them sometimes. When as I get on my nerves, like okay, now it's not that hard. It's like Chud Nyla, like three syllables. So my first name, I get it from my dad and my mom, the Chud, and then the L A, and then N A N Y means anything is possible, which is me. I can do anything I want. That's what my first name stands for. My middle name, it comes from my auntie. Um, that passed away before I was even like able to like get to know her last name comes from my dad Avi but I have two last names so the first one I think comes from his mom and the second one came from his dad so he combined it so he could always stand out because like nobody have two last names well people do have two last names but it's really rare really really rare <laughs> Let's see, what else you guys want to know about me? <laughs> because it's green, I don't know. I just did not want to be that girl who liked pink, but like, I like pink, but like, I was like, you know what, let me be green. And I stuck with it ever since. I love green. If you really see me in person, I'm a very quiet person, a very observant person. But if you really get to know me and I let you in my inner circle, if I know that you're worthy enough to be around me, babes, I'm very goofy, funny, like, I always smile, like, it's it's just like, why you don't smile for it, you know? Nobody pays you to smile. Smiling is free. It feels good when you smile too, you know? Even when you're not happy. It's hard to smile, but I just be smiling. So I didn't even tell you why I'm getting ready. It's my sister, it was my sister's birthday, so it's like a birthday dinner. So I'm doing a little cute get ready with me. Chit, chit, but I'll even tell you my age. I'm 21. Your girl is 21. And I thought that was gonna be like, I remember when I was probably like 16, 15. I used to be really insecure about my body. Mainly because the little boys, the little boys back then was making fun of me. Because I didn't have no butt, none of that stuff. But it's all good. I got a little something now. But, anyways, the whole point of the story was. I made this oath to myself. I was like, watch when I turn 21, I'm gonna have a big butt, this and that. I'm 21, I don't have a big butt. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. I think back at it, like, girl, really? But now, I really don't care about what people think about my body, because like, at the end of the day, it's a body. It's gonna change. It's your body. You, the person who really should care about their body is you. And if you don't like your body, what you doing, you know? What are you doing? My birthday is March, not March. It's December 13, 2001. I'm a 2001 baby. Your girl Nyla, she loves her some books. Like, it's crazy before I moved, before I moved, it's back. I lived in Florida my whole entire life until I decided to move to Vegas with my people. Um, and that was like almost a year ago, which I moved, almost a year. I moved to Vegas and only because I just didn't want to be an adult. And then also, also, if, if you really think about it, being a 21 year old, just getting out of high school, still in college, you're not making that much money, literally. So I was literally depressed, not making that much money, spending all my money on other stuff. You know, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing this. So I moved back with my parents. It's been a little rocky, but it's been good so far. But the whole point I'm trying to say, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Oh, let me show you this book that I really love. Right. See, this book is called 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. And I read this book when I'm like kind of sad or like happy with all my moods. Because it really makes me think about little stuff. Like, for example, um, 
What would your future self think about the situation that happened today? Like, say you had a bad day or, yeah, say you had a bad day and it wasn't even that bad. Your, your future self will not care. You won't remember that day nine times out of ten. So why are you dwell, dwelling on the situation, you know? So stuff like that really opened my mind. Another book that I had read, it was like the four languages, no, the uh, four something about life, the four agreements on life. And it basically one of the agreements was don't take nothing personal. It's really not that deep because if you really think about it, people will be thinking about other stuff. They don't really be thinking about you. So like if somebody offended you, they're not offending. They're not like, they're offending you because they're showing their actions on themselves. If you know what I mean? Like they're saying rude things to you because that's how, how they feel about themselves. So don't ever take stuff personal like that because you don't know what really be going on in people's minds. And it's not really towards directly towards you, but somehow you was in their way and they just aimed at you. And I realized, I'm really talking a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, what time is it? 4.43. I got to leave at 5.54. Oh. Oh. I'm going to come back after I finish my eyebrows because I can really talk all day. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm back. <laughs> Y'all look, look at these eyebrows. I did, though. It's like some days my eyebrows won't look good, but then other days it don't want to look good. One thing I learned about myself is that I have flaws just like everybody else. But also, I was scared of change. Like, honestly, when I decided to move here, I was like, yes, you know, I'm ready to move. I'm leaving everything. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But then as soon as I got here, it was good. But then I started feeling sad. Like, I don't have no friends. I want to hang out with my friends. When you grow as a person change is going to happen it's going to be very scary you don't want your old life back but really you just want those old feelings the good moments and stuff think about the bad moments and the moments where you feel like you wasn't growing and stuff that's why you made that decision in the first place you know and had to realize that some people would just give up and i was one of them people but i realized don't give up during the storm that's where the magic happened always i'm putting on my anastasia concealer contour so with my makeup i kind of started doing like different I'm, i just like trying an air so i do my contour first i like do like an underpaint and i do the foundation last even though i don't really have foundation like i literally have like a little drop i need to get a new foundation but we're gonna have to do what we have best that's what goal for this month for april is to use what i have Cause I like to splurge and we're not doing that no more because I spent too much in March. March was like my happy time. <laughs> March, I was going out freely, spending my money on little stuff. Little stuff adds up. So, April, the goal is to use what I have because when I see something, I'm like, okay, I need that. I need that now. No, baby, you don't need that now. So, I'm gonna use what I have. Girl, trying to save some money. Some money. So I'm just using this flat brush to wipe off. Not wipe. I don't know why I feel like something's poking me. That's the question of the day for you guys. What do you guys live for? If you didn't have no goals, no morals, nothing, nothing, no hobbies. If you didn't have no goals, no hobbies, stuff you like to do, who would you be doing it for? What would you live for? Who would you live for? if you didn't have none of that. And sadly to say, most people don't have hobbies. Most people don't know what they like. So it's like, what do you live for, you know? That's a real question. And what motivates you to keep on going? That's a good question. What motivates you to keep on going? Even when you don't have no motivation, what drives you? Because nine times out of 10, you, when you wake up, you're not gonna have no motivation to get up, go to the gym, eat breakfast, do stuff that you normally do, you know? So what drives you? What drives you to keep on going? But one thing I really started looking at, like, wow. I stopped thinking about what I'm, I'm thinking, about my anxiety sometimes, how I feel, how I look. 
and I just look at that person. Like, I really look at them. Even the ones I love, like my family and stuff, I look at them and I'm like, are they really okay? Like, what is really going through their head? Like, you never, you, you never know. So, that's my goal to start asking people, what, are you good? Like, even if you ask somebody, are they good? They're gonna be like, yeah, I'm good. No, you gotta ask them a question that's not one in the answer. Like, how's your day? What you thought about today? What's going on in your head, you know? Did you do the things you'd like to do today? Stuff like that. Like, uh, I had like a mini like breakdown. It was a couple of months ago or two months or a month. I can't remember. See, I really can't remember what day it is, but I remember specifically I had a breakdown. Uh, it was at work and then it just came it was at work. It was like a little bit at work. I felt I felt the emotions coming in. I was like, yep, I'm having a breakdown. And then when I got home, boom, I exploded. And the reason, main reason was like, I was asking myself, like, when you have breakdowns, ask yourself, like, why are you breaking down? What caused the breakdown? How you could fix it? And how you could remove, move on from the situation? And what can you do to not have that breakdown again? What can you stop yourself? Because if you really think about it, crying it's not going to solve no issue. That's how I had to keep telling myself crying is not going to solve no issue. So when I had this breakdown, and it was about work, because I work at the airport, and it was all cool and fun when I got the job in the summer. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Until they didn't tell you everything. Like, literally, I didn't know we had to deal with, like, poop. And when I say poop, like, when you go on a plane, like, so I do the bags, like, underneath the plane and stuff. So when I say, like, poop... I ain't, I ain't know nothing about that. So like when you go on a plane and you gotta go to the bathroom, where do you think that poop goes? They got the poop gotta come out somewhere. So we have a truck with like a hose, like like a little tube where the poop slide through and go to the truck and then take the truck and you dump the poop like in the poop area far far away, right? So I'm like, and I was a newbie. I was like the rookie. So like when you work, when you starting off new, the rookies do the poop and stuff. But babes, when I say I had to do a poop, I was like, <laughs> I was mad. I was mad. I was like, oh my god. And then that's another thing. People get pooped on. Like if you don't hook the thing correctly, they really get pooped on. And that was my biggest fear, getting pooped on. Cause baby, if I got pooped on, I'll probably quit that job. Cause no. And they be they be getting on the people. Like they will crack on you, make jokes about you. But yeah, somebody got pooped on that day, and then I was like, oh, I'm not doing, I'm not doing that. No, no, no. Cause like, I don't know how you get pooped on. Like, did it not click? You know, cause when you do, you gotta make sure it click. So my little, um, my teammate, the the lead or whatever, they said go handle the poop. And I was like, what? They just got pooped on. One of the things not working. I'm not doing no poop. And we got three trucks, so one of the trucks was not working. So I was like, you know what? So I had to do it, whatever. So I did it, and I thought I did it. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, I that's I didn't break down because of the poop. I broke down because in that moment, I realized, like, yo, this is not for me. Even though I know I'm not going to be at the job for a long time, but, like, no, like, I don't want to work for nobody else. I don't want to deal with nobody poop. Like, look at me. Like, do, do I want to deal with somebody poop? Do I look like I could deal with poop? No. <laughs> And after me doing with that poop stuff, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, no, I don't want to do this again, you know? So, I came with a solution. Like, girl, if you, you're not going to keep having breakdowns, you're going to figure out how you're going to make it out. It's no plan B. There's no plan B. So, when you have that mindset, you go even more harder. More harder for something you want in life. That was me realizing, like, I'm not doing this forever. I'm not staying here forever. So I got to make something happen. So now I'm here doing YouTube, still dealing with my poop job. <laughs> but, yeah. But so far, um, we're in 2023, and it's a good year. Like, And what have you accomplished? What is the, what is the stuff you accomplished? It don't got to be big. Cause like the little accomplishment turned into big accomplishment. You just gotta acknowledge, you know?
Ain't no bitch. <laughs> Look at what time it is. It is 5.05. So I gotta hurry up, you guys. Contour. Contour the heck out of these nose, baby. So basically, this is like a whole lot, a whole lot of stuff that's going on in my life right now. So I'm going with my Gobi. I really love this stuff. I really didn't put that much makeup on. Not like over here. I don't think I'm gonna put on foundation, honestly. I hope this don't turn out too brown. Oh wow, y'all. It looks like I have lashes. Look at my lashes. Can y'all see? Should I put on lashes? I always ask myself this, should I put on lashes? Okay, so I put on like one lash and I clean up the top because I decided I don't want to wear makeup, makeup. So I'm about to wipe this dust off. I'm using my Ota uh, brushing wipe. What time it is? It is 526. I gotta leave here at like five. Um, I'm trying to figure out, did I leave this? It's like bright. Okay. So this is my favorite blush. It's California and the the Bed and Fit like palette stuff. I got this a while back. And I'm just patting on there. Cause your girl love this blush stuff. I'm a blush girl. Get it from my mama. We gotta hurry up, okay? Cause I don't. We was doing good. We was doing good. Like me and you. Was having a blast. I was having a blast. Are you having a blast? I'm not putting too much. Okay. She's there. She's there. And I already did my edges. I tied them babies up. You know, I'm pretty proud of myself because usually I wait last minute to get ready and stuff. That's why I don't be feeling. But I gave myself grace and gave me like an hour. <laughs> okay, we got it on. <gasps> She's gorgeous. What time it is? 5.32, so I got 10 more minutes, 15. Quick, quick little talk, so I was, I filmed this video. Well, it was like a short, but like my lips. Somebody, basically somebody commented, I look like Rihanna. And I'm like, I'm flattered, but I don't look like Rivi. And I looked at the video again, I was like, I see why they say I look like Rivi. Cause I did a re re lip with the red lip, but I did like how her lips be looking like. And I'm like, wait a minute. Did I just crack the code on re re lips? Cause baby, them lips was hitting. It was hitting hard. And I'm gonna just go in with this Anastasia um, lip gloss thing. It don't got no name to it. I don't know what happened, but it smells so good. It really smells like cookies. So I think I'm just gonna go in with this light brown and Kano. I use this all the time. And I'm gonna put it underneath my eye to get that oof. And then on the end of the corner of my eye, I'm just going with Mino, the darker one, to give it that oof. And I'm going in with this little highlighter. I broke it. So it's like hating me right now. Just go right here. This do a lot. Look at that. Crap. I put a lot on. Ugh. Okay. I put a lot on. God damn it. Okay, now I'm about to spray. I don't even know how you say this, but it's really good. So let me show y'all um, my little outfit. Cause I don't even know what I wanna do. So basically, uh, uh, I'm rushing, rushing. So this is like the outfit. And I put on my Valentino perfume. With my little rings. That could barely fit me. 
And then I'm wearing these shoes. They got a little fit. And this gold belt. So yeah, if you guys enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Bye. 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 Bye.